Folks, this is Jim. I just wanted to take a look at the Russian-Ukraine conflict from a monetary perspective in a way that um, I don't think a lot of people are looking at it. Uh, the first thing I see is that to date, uh, the aid given to Ukraine to fight this war is about $200 billion, $122 billion from the U.S., and uh, let's be generously say 80 billion from the rest of the world, which I don't believe that is so. It's probably more like 50 to 60 billion. So I'm making this a very loose projection up to 200 billion. But I want to do that for the purpose of this video. So let's say 200 billion dollars in aid given to Ukraine to, to defend themselves. Okay, well now let's look at it from another perspective. Remember, we seized 350 billion dollars. In Russian foreign reserves, cash reserves, $350 billion seized at the onset of this war from Russia, right? Their reserves. On top of that, about $50 billion in Russian oligarchs, property, cash, reserves, and other things, as well as yachts, right? On and on and on. So probably about $50 billion in private assets were seized from the Russian oligarchs and whatnot. So now... What do we have? A $400 billion pot, and the world has only had to help Ukraine to the tune of $200 billion. By my calculations, Ukraine can fight this war another year on Russia's dime. Isn't that crazy? But yet, look at it from a logical, mathematical perspective and what's going on. Okay, and conversely, Russia spent at least half a trillion already, plus they lost the $350 billion in assets that helped to for Ukraine to fight against them. That's hilarious to me. And uh, and then on top of that, at least another $150 billion in losses with regards to revenue streams and other things. And I'm being very, very modest when I even calculate a trillion of what it's, this whole thing is costing Russia so far. Okay? So here we have one nation fighting on the other nation's dime, and this nation's spending a trillion dollars. Now, when we step back and we look at pre-war Russian GDP, that trillion dollars is 25% of the entire Russian gross domestic product to fight a war that's yielding nothing for them except more expenditures, isn't it? They cost them lots of money every day to be in Ukraine. At the same time, even if they do succeed in their goals and their mission here, it's going to cost another trillion dollars just to make all that land productive in the end, because they've destroyed it. Those cities are destroyed. Everything is destroyed. Infrastructure, the whole bit, right? So, and it's going to get worse as this conflict continues on. So those are the, that's the perspective I wanted to look at. Uh, 200 billion and 408, I'm being very generous when I say that. And yet 400 billion in seized Russian assets. Do the numbers, folks. In my calculations, Ukraine can continue for a year on the Russian dime, whereas Russia, every day, heads further and further down the road of exhausting all of its reserves. And then they're in big trouble. And I'll do a separate video on the Russian ruble versus the Chinese yuan, the Indian... Uh, rupee and the U.S. dollar. That way we get a broad-based perspective, uh, allies and sanctioned nations, of how the ruble is doing, and I will do that. So this is beginning to add up in multiple ways. That's why I'm doing this video. But hey, isn't that kind of like, whoa, you know what I mean? Nobody really looks at, or people haven't been looking at things from perspectives that I do and I like to look at. And uh, if you would, please hit that like button, subscribe if you like, and uh, please comment and tell me what you're thinking, feeling, and how your understanding is. I love your comments. I really do more than anything. Your comments are fantastic. So if, whether you agree with me or not, by the way, whether you agree with me or not, your comments I really appreciate, okay? And your comments can often give me a new understanding of something that I may not have seen. So please comment whether you agree with me or not. And uh, hit that like button if you will. Subscribe if you like. And I hope you're all doing well. I hope life's treating you good. Russian assets, 400 billion seized by the West. Aid to Ukraine so far, 200 billion. Do the math. Hope you're all doing well. Hope life's treating you good. Jim out.